Hi, I'm Paolo Mabanglo and welcome to my YouTube channel. Bago tayo magsimula, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Infection can happen anytime and anywhere. So today, ituturo ko sa inyo ang chain of infection and how to break the chain of infection. For infection to occur, kailangan ng six requirements or six links sa chain of infection. First link, infectious agents or germs. Example, bacteria, viruses, or parasites. Dapat present itong mga microorganisms para magkaroon ng infection. To break this link, first kailangan kumonsulta sa doktor para malaman or para ma-identify ang infectious agents at para mabigyan ng tamang treatment and mag-disinfect. Ang germs kailangan ng reservoir. Ito yung second link. Ang reservoir ay environment ng germs to reproduce, to grow, and multiply. Example ng reservoir ay mga tao, hayop, contaminated food and water, and don't forget your cell phones, remote control, tables, and doorknobs pati na yung switch ng ilaw break this link by proper hand washing disinfecting surfaces and press control next link portal of exit ito yung paraan kung paano lalabas ang germs outside ng reservoir for example human body or respiratory tract ng tao through mouth and nose pag umubo or nag sneeze break this link by doing proper cough etiquette, <coughs> proper hand washing or hand hygiene, and use of face mask. Para matransfer ang germs, kailangan ng mode of transmission. Ito yung next link. It can be direct contact or physical contact. Indirect contact, pag nahawakan mo yung contaminated objects, ingestion, and inhalation. To break this link, practice regular or proper hand washing, use of face mask, proper food preparation and food safety, at regular na pagtapon ng basura. Para makompleto ang transmission ng germs, kailangan ng portal of entry. Ito yung eyes, nose, and mouth. Also include pag may sugat, open wound. To break this link, practice proper hand washing and hand hygiene, use of face mask or face shield, and if may sugat, hugasan ng malinis na tubig at takpan ng gamit ang bandage or clean cloth. At paalala, iwasan ang paglagay ng mga dahon sa sugat para maiwasan ng infection. Lastly, susceptible host. Ikaw, ako, tayong lahat, especially mga bata, matatanda at may mga sakit, sila yung may weak immune system. To break this link, as a health worker, we give immunization or vaccine sa mga vulnerable na mga tao, especially sa mga bata and mga matatanda. Pag na-break ang isang link sa chain of infection, I'm sure 100% ma-prevent and save kayo sa infection. Sana nakatuloy itong simpleng video for infection prevention and control. I'm sure magagamit nyo ito sa bahay, sa office, sa hospital, or kahit saan. Effective ito. If may namiss ako or gusto kayong itagdag, feel free to comment sa comment section. If may suggestion kayo na ta next topic or for my next vlog, comment na lang. <laughs>